Alright, so this is just a quick video to show you how to set up Scene Navi. So the first thing you're going to want to do is download Scene Navi. Right on the page here, on the resources, or releases, sorry. And we'll just save that. And open it. And we're just going to extract this to a new folder in our C drive called Scene Navi. You can put it wherever, but this is where I'm going to show you how to put it for this uh, video here. And now the net, once you've got that extracted here, we're going to go to this page here and download this and just extract this to that same folder. Done. Okay, now the next step is you should have downloaded the OT ROMs here that we'll be needing. So the next step, I'm going to just grab, say, 1.0 US ROM here. And go back to our scene navi folder now and just go into our exe folder here and just paste that in there. And now just for simplicity, I'm gonna just rename it Zelda.z64 so I don't have to type out the full long file name. And now the next step you're gonna do is just open up your command prompt and go to your nav scene navi folder, so cd slash scene navi slash ext. And then to bring us here, now we just have to type in ZDEC and then the name of the ROM that we're taking from, so Zelda.Z64. And then the name that we want for our uh, decompressed ROM, so I'm just going to call it Zelda DEC.Z64. Hit enter. It's going to say, ask us here. We're going to just hit Y. Hit enter. Bam, done. Okay, once that's done there, we can close this out. And now you can see in the folder here we do have the slightly larger file size on the Zelda decompressed here. So that's all we really need there. Now you just open up Scene Navi, open your ROM, and navigate. It actually has it already set to this ext folder for me. Um, and just grab the... oh, because it's grabbing from the other drive. And just go to your Scene Navi folder to ext, and just grab your Zelda.decompressed or Zelda.dec and open that bad boy. And now, as you can see, all the names have pulled up here, so now if I wanted to, say, look at Dodongo's Cavern, we can do that pretty easily. Um, you can use the WASD keys to move around, the mouse you can use to drag around, and I do recommend going to your render elements and make sure that you do a render collision selected here. Um, and that's going to put all the lines on all the collision here. Uh, makes it a lot easier to kind of see what's going on, um, you know, between certain, you know, scenes, what what link will actually touch, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So definitely recommend having that selected. Um, but other than that, that's pretty much all you need to do, and uh, you're all good to go now.